But hello everyone, I'm Vijay, and it's so good to see everyone here in person. And for those of you who are virtual, we still love you. But I'm Vijay, and like Constance said, I am actually a part of an extremely cool group in Cisco called Emerging Tech and Incubation. If you want to find out more about it, please visit eti.cisco.com. But I'm here to talk about APIs, the universe, and everything. Before I get there, I want to introduce to you Marvin. And the clicker is broken. So who is Marvin? If you have to ask, please go and read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy right now. He is a robot with a brain the size of a planet. He's 50,000 times smarter than any human being. But most importantly, he is the paranoid android. And he's perennially depressed. Why, you ask? Because he's looking at this developer as she moves from developing monolithic traditional applications to cloud-native modern distributed apps. And as she does that, she's using APIs and services that are scattered across the globe and are running over the wide open internet. In this kind of a scenario, what is the new security perimeter? is basically an API or a data object. So we need to secure API to API calls and API to data object interactions. It's no wonder that APIs are poised to become the most used attack vector for breaches moving forward. This makes Marvin super paranoid. So he has a few questions he needs to ask both the developers and SREs on the one hand and the security folks on the other. Do you know what APIs are running in your internal environment? Which third-party APIs are you using? Are they geofenced? Are they compliant? Are the APIs that you're using deprecated? Are they insecure? Do they have terrible uptime? And don't just think about that one application. Think about thousands of applications in your environment and the tens of thousands of APIs as a result. Hearing all the answers, this is Marvin's thought process. Fortunately for him, a bunch of us in the community, including Cisco, 42Crunch, and API Metrics, got together and formed an open source project. That project is API Clarity. I paid all of them, just so you know. You can find out more about this at apiclarity.io, or you can point your smartphone to the QR code up there. That'll take you there. What does it do? First and foremost, frictionless onboarding. Very important. No code changes, no code changes are needed to deploy API Clarity in your environment. And we'll see in a moment how we do that. Secondly, it actually observes all of the API traffic in your environment and reconstructs the open API spec for the applications in your environment. It allows you to view those specifications, modify them, or even upload your own specifications. Once it has that, now you can take a look at drift. You can take a look at your APIs and the parameters and whether they drift over time. Maybe you wanted to pass an integer as a parameter, but you're passing a double instead. It allows you to flag zombies and shadows. APIs that are either deprecated or shouldn't have been used in the first place. And all of this through a fabulous UI, which we shall see in a moment. The way we make it seamless and frictionless is by putting a WASM filter in Envoy and then mirroring all of the API traffic to the API spec engine within Open Clarity. Oh, sorry, API Clarity. And all of that is accessed through the UI that you shall see here. As you can see, we are tracking all of the APIs in your environment, and we are tracking the zombies. This is the hand that's coming out of the ground. The shadows, the two circles, like an eclipse, and the drifts, which are the exclamation points. Now, having this clarity is just the first step. You can take this in so many different ways. You can run API fast testing. You can generate mock code. You can do documentation. There's so much you can do with API clarity. All of this to say, Go and try API Clarity out. Contribute to it, nurture it, grow it. Most importantly, please don't let 
Marvin Dow. If you want to know more about this, please visit us at the Cisco booth, where we have API clarity in motion, we have full stack observability and API security demos. You can follow us at Cisco Emerge on Twitter, and you can point your cameras again to the QR code to take you to emerging tech and incubation, Constance. Thank you.